I'm Jim Jenkins from the North Cascades Vintage Aircraft Museum. I'm Director of Operations here, and I have with me Brian White. We're going back to Pennsylvania to pick up another beautiful airplane for our collection, a clipped wing Monaco. And uh, Jim, my boss here, is going to be the pilot on this excursion, and I'm going to be his navigator. Clip wing in itself will be a, a real adventure. Um, it's a high performance uh, sport aircraft built in the early to mid 30s. Uh, was basically built for the rich sportsman's pilot of the period. Uh, they only built seven. The gentleman from Whidbey Island, Fred Lubke, recreated this airplane from parts and pieces that crashed in 1937. Killed the pilot. We happen to have Fred's very first long wing monocoupe in the collection also. It's been my mission to really bring both of these airplanes and have them here and be part of this collection, which is really rare. To have a monocoupe, just a long wing monocoupe, in a flying uh, collection is extremely rare. To have both of the airplanes will be phenomenal. I'm super excited to go get this airplane. It's going to be a great adventure and I can't wait to be a part of it. We'll be leaving, uh, it's, it's Venago County Airport in Franklin, Pennsylvania and our first stop will be near Valparaiso, Indiana which is about 300 miles west of Franklin. Um, it's around 2,125 miles uh, from Franklin, Venago County to uh, Concrete. Once we get into northern Northwestern Iowa near Sioux City, we'll pick up I-90, and um, it's a uh, old-fashioned way of flying. Even though we'll have equipment with you know GPS and uh, radios, there's nothing better than uh, a major highway than really a, a nice railroad track to follow east and west or north and south. The baggage compartment is limited to 20 pounds with any fuel in the aux tank, so um, gotta travel light. You know, we can bring a, a box of crackers and maybe a, a drink of water or something like that.